everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Bumble Rims, and today I'm gonna to show you stretches and exercises for cervical vertigo. So let's get started. So cervical vertigo is also known as cervicogenic dizziness, and this can be the feeling of you're unsteady um, or disoriented. So it's different than the BPPV vertigo. And um, often this cervical vertigo comes from an injury or a health, uh, uh, health condition that affects your neck. So really to help that is these tight muscles in the neck basically pull and then cause that vertigo feeling. So you wanna stretch everything out. So we're just gonna start off with some rotational movements just to start loosening up the neck. So keep your head kind of in a neutral position and then just start doing a rotation side to side. You can do it continuously, maybe just a little pause. You don't have to go as far over as I'm going. You know, if this reproduces some symptoms, you can go just a little bit uh, less because if your muscles are tight, you might not be able to, but if you can stretch them a little bit, go ahead and, and push just a little bit to get that stretch. Then you're gonna go into a cervical side bend. So now you're just kind of going going over one way, going over the other way. So just kind of try to take your ear over to your shoulder, but you're bringing your head down, you're not bringing your shoulder up. Um, again, just a continuous, this is almost more just a warm up, getting that neck loosened up. Again, you know, you don't want it to reproduce those uh, vertigo symptoms. You want to just do um, gentle, uh, but you can push it a little bit if you're not getting the reproduction of those symptoms. So after you get it loosened up, we're gonna go into some bigger stretches. One of my favorite stretches, uh, if you've seen any of my next stuff, is an upper trap stretch because the again, the, the, the upper trap goes all the way into that neck area. So if it's tight and pulling on your spine, it's compressing those nerves and then it can give you that vertigo type feeling. So with an upper trap stretch, I like just to sit on my hand on the side I'm going to stretch. I'm going to stretch this side and then bring the other hand up and over where you're just kind of placing your finger on your ear and then just gently pull over to the side until you feel that upper trap stretch and the uh, muscle right through there. If you don't want to sit on your hand, that's okay. You can place it behind your back or you can just rest it down. This is just to kind of help keep that shoulder down to get that nice stretch. You're going to hold it for 30 seconds and then do that three times on each side. If you're interested in doing a follow along real time video where you're um, getting the whole 30 seconds with me and following along, you can check out those real time videos up there. So then the next one is going to be a levator scapulae stretch. This is another one of my favorite. Uh, neck stretches just because that that uh, levator scapulae muscle is really one of those muscles that can cause a lot of problems, a lot of pain, a lot of tightness, and then again causing some of that cervical vertigo in there. So if you can, you're going to place your hand back on your shoulder blade trying to just push your elbow up into the air. I know this might be not doable for some people, so you can place it behind your back or hand underneath just like the upper trap one, but this is the way I learned it so this is the way I like to do it but you can also just keep your hand by your side so if I'm stretching this side this elbow goes up I'm turning my head to about a 45 degree angle or where my opposite knee is I'm going to take my hand put it over my head I'll, I call it almost like a helmet and then I'm going to pull downwards almost like I'm tucking my nose into my armpit and I should feel that stretch it might go all the way down to that shoulder blade where it's attached and come all the way up to that neck or that cervical spine where it's attached up there and so this is another one where you're holding for 30 seconds switch sides do that turn and then hold that for 30 seconds again doing that three times on each side. So once you get everything loosened up and stretched out a little bit, you wanna start doing some strengthening exercises. A lot of times with this cervical vertigo, um, big movements are what kind of throws people off a little bit. So I like to start off with isometric exercises. And so isometric exercises are where you're activating the muscle, but you're not making the big movements that might be painful. So for example, we're gonna start off with a isometric side bend. So the motion that you're doing is that side bend motion that we did earlier. But this time you're gonna kinda just place your hand on your temple or your fingers on your temple. You can use your um, palm if you want to, just to stop it from moving. So this is the motion that I'm gonna be doing, but I'm stopping it with my hand. So I'm just kinda pushing into my hand. I'm not pushing 100%. Maybe when you're first starting off, just do 25 or 30%. 
hold it for about three to five seconds, relax. I like to alternate sides, so I'm coming over this side. Now, now this is the motion that I'm doing. I'm stopping myself from doing it. You really wanna start off in that neutral position, but once you get going, then if you wanna go over a little bit and then do the isometric here, and then if you can go a little bit more, you do the isometrics there. You can do that as well. Or you can always keep it in that neutral position if the other positions are uncomfortable. Then the next one is just the rotation, now that cervical rotation, but it's gonna be that isometric movement. So same thing, you can place your fingers on your temple area or the palm, and now this is the motion I'm doing, but I'm stopping it with my hand. So now I'm just kind of pushing into that hand. Same thing, just that 25 to 30% to start off with, three to five seconds, relax, switch sides, pushing in, holding it that three to five seconds, relax, and then doing that uh, several times on each side. Then we're gonna go into a chin tuck. So chin tucks are kind of my go-to for anything if you wanna correct your posture, if uh, you get head tension, headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain. Chin tucks are great because they just kind of reset everything. So with a chin tuck, you're, for me, when I say a chin tuck, I mean actually tucking it in. Sometimes a chin tuck is this way. You can do a chin tuck that way, but the chin tuck that I'm looking for is taking that chin and pulling it back in where you're almost moving your whole head back. But you wanna keep your chin in a fairly neutral position. So it's not this, or it's not up like this. You're keeping it in that neutral position. If you wanna use your finger as a target, you might have seen me do this before. Leave your finger in, this, in the same spot and then try and move your chin away from your finger. Hold it for about three to five seconds, and then a lot of times when you relax, you might have a little space in between. I know my finger was moving because I was talking a little bit, but that just means that you kind of need to do that exercise and reset those muscles. So same thing, holding it for about three to five seconds. It shouldn't be painful. I have a lot of neck movement, but you might not. You might only be able to just move it a little bit. So stay in your comfort zone, and then as you do more, you will be able to eventually um, work it back a little bit more without any pain. So now we're just gonna do uh, scapular squeezes or shoulder squeezes. And so all that is, is you're taking your shoulder blades and you're just trying to squeeze them together. So you're imagining that someone has their hand on your spine and you're trying to squish their hand with your shoulder blades. So I like to tell people to start off with using their elbows as a guide, because that kind of helps, but you're squeezing with your muscles. You're not just bringing your elbows back. They're just kind of going as a guide and I'm squeezing back. Try and keep those shoulders down. I'll say people do this a lot. You're relaxing everything up here and you're just squeezing back. But again, you really need to do the, the movement with the muscles. So if you feel like you're just moving your elbows, relax your uh, hands in front of you and just squeeze back. So same thing, hold it for about three to five seconds, relax, and then do a couple of those. Oh yeah, so there you have it. Those are stretches and exercises for cervical vertigo. If you'd like to help support my channel, click on the link up there. I know, and where will you subscribe? Down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.